Okay, guys, we're do we're doing something a little bit different and a little bit funny today because it's really, really, really hard to explain epic hard truth, you know, just plainly. And so you guys know I do these videos all the time and make it really goofy or whatever, and I try to encourage everybody. Oh, Tommy Kiker, I haven't seen you in years, brother. Blessings, pastor out there. So, anyways. Love him. Anyway, so love you, man. Good to see you on. For you guys that are getting on, I want to say this. This is going to be a little bit funny and a little bit different. Please bear with us. I got a lot of involvement, but I want to explain and share some truth and encourage you guys, and at the same time, do it in a way where we can all hear it. You ready? So this is a little My Hill story right now. I hope it encourages. All right. This is a little weird. Wouldn't it be cool if... Your old self and your new self could have a little chat and discuss about what's going on in your current life. That would be pretty cool. Hey, Dustin, what's going on, man? I haven't seen you in forever. Bro, I haven't seen you around in a long time either. It's been months. Yeah, I've been dragging around. What's going on, man? Well... I had pneumonia, and I missed birthdays, and I had high blood pressure, and I can't sleep, and I feel like I'm drowning all the time. Stress at work is killing me. I'm always trying to get more sleep. My body aches, and I'm getting older, and the doctor said I was pre-diabetic and high blood pressure and high cholesterol, and I'm so sad. I'm going on meds for all of it, and they drag me down too. I hate how those meds feel. It's frustrating, man. I feel stuck and alone, and I don't even want to preach because, well, my suits don't fit, and my belly sticks out, and ain't cool. I'm always uncomfortable. What if I said you don't have to stay stuck, and you don't have to be alone, and you can get quick results, even as short as in a month? That's not possible, man. I've tried it all. I've counted carbs. I've fasted. I've ran. And even more than that, I've done everything I can do. I really only usually eat one meal a day. I'm just old and my metabolism slowed down because I'm over 40. Woe is me. You don't burn calories when you get old. Bull crap. What if I said your wife, Lori, has lost... 53 pounds and future you has lost 72 pounds and all with the help of our coach John Michael Kilpatrick <laughs> and what if I said you and Lori now coach 50 clients and you're training almost 20 coaches and you have an impact in lives with health that reaches almost 120 or over 125 people right here now. What if I told you you're now working in a financial freedom? Your ministry is the most fired up it's ever been. You're the most positive you've ever been. You're dragging others into freedom and in health and finance. And even right now, your biggest thing you've ever seen is restore relationships as you disciple people more effectively in all of this which has led to more kingdom breakthrough in lives. And, and you know what? You've seen more breakthrough in pastoral ministry in this little bit of time than in all the almost a quarter decade that you've been in ministry. Boom. What do you think, man? Take that. What? Are you kidding me? You've got to be kidding me. Seriously. Yeah, and now you're going global with this stuff, baby. Speaking life, giving hope, seeing breakthrough, blessing families. Woo! Restore relationships are happening, man. You're helping more people than ever before. Boom! Epic! I would say, well, where do I sign up, man? Yeah, we would, wouldn't we? But truthfully, first we have to start with getting this guy to say yes. Yeah, that guy, well, he's pretty much a hold up. And you know what? He's a self-sabotager. It's time, I think, man. We gotta get him to do it. Dude, it's time. You've got to do this. What do you think it's gonna take for you to take this step? I don't know. I hope it doesn't take too much. I'm just 
so tired. Hey, seriously? Do you really need a life scare? Do you really need a desperate wife trying to get your attention to make a change, man? What if the smallest inkling of hope could radically affect your thinking and with small changes to an already too busy schedule, you could see epic results? What if that could happen? Bro, I'm telling you, it can. It's time. You've got to get unstuck. John Michael will help. Oh, my stars. Anna, get the dog out of here. It's time to get free, baby. It's time to get free. Woo! Let's do it now. Woo!